Hello. I welcome you back. Thank you for joining me. How are you today? I hope all is well with you and your loved ones. It's always a pleasure to see you and my heart is full of gratitude for your presence. Listen to correction. That is our topic for this positive outing today. Um, one thing I know is that a person who is wise knows that he or she can learn from anybody. They pay attention, argue less, and are grateful for most of the feedback which they receive. In today's world, where everyone seems to have their own truths that cannot be influenced by sound reasoning, we find that people no longer pay heed to wise counsel. There is often a backlash followed by a torrent of abuses, insults, should correction be offered in any manner. Dearly beloved, guys, family and friends, we do not always get it right. That is part of us being human. We will make mistakes, but when we listen to correction, we will be able to set ourselves on the right track again. May I remind us that truly and totally lost is the one who cannot be corrected. As you all know, we all know that the book of Proverbs is replete with simple words for those who listen to corrections, advice and instructions, as well as those who do not listen. Chapter 10 of Proverbs verse 17 says, accept correction and you will find life. Chapter 15 verse 31 says, listen to good advice if you want to live well. If you listen to correction, this is another version, to improve your life, you will live among the wise. Chapter 19 verse 20 says, listen to advice and accept discipline. At the end, you will be counted among the wise. The one who receives correction, who listens and actually goes back to ponder over what they've heard and maybe take action would continue be, to be a wise person. Let's cast our mind, minds back to David in the Bible. When David erred, when he sinned, he committed that atrocity, adultery. And he murdered a man, ordered a man to be murdered to cover his sin. God sent prophet Nathan to David. Being the king, David had the right to order Nathan to be executed. But David humbled himself, received the instruction, the correction, the admonition from Nathan. He broke down in humility and he wept and repented before God. That is someone we must emulate. Corrections very often are not pleasant things, especially when we know that what we have done is wrong. But it takes the grace of God for one to listen to that wise counsel and to do the needful. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 3 tells us that a poor but wise boy is better than a foolish but old king who doesn't listen to advice, who doesn't pay heed to correction. Sooner or later, they meet with their demise. That word of correction which you listened to today might be the foundation for your success tomorrow. Dearly beloved, listening to correction would, would, would spare us a lot of troubles.
Never despise that person who corrects you. He or she is a necessary evil, if we want to put it that way, that you need to assess yourself, to evaluate where you are in Christ Jesus. Give thanks to God, actually, for such persons, if you've got them in your life. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 6. For the Lord disciplines the one he loves and chastises every son whom he receives. As a matter of fact, if you can go have a study of Hebrews chapter 12, you will see so much said about chastisement, correcting someone. My dear friends and family, it is okay to be corrected. It is okay for someone to point out something that we've done. That is the way that we are able to check and balance ourselves. We're able to fully live our lives. Because if we do not have people who come to us to share and point out maybe areas where we have said things that we shouldn't have, done things that we shouldn't have, or not done or say the things that we should have, then we can amend we can go back and sort ourselves out, especially before the presence of God. So I hope and pray that the, our dear Father, the Almighty God, the merciful Father of creation, would have mercy on us and help us to be the people who would listen to correction, pay attention to wise counsel and order, make amends to sort ourselves out where necessary as we continue on this journey towards eternal life. I thank you for your time today. Until I come your way again, it's goodbye for now. God bless you.